something kind of satisfying feeling the safety glass part. Good day everybody, welcome to another video and it is freaking hot out there. I don't know how the heck you Americans do it down south because it's like 90 some degrees right here and I am ready to die. The AC has been working overtime and telling you it's not been a good time. For those of you who live in Canada, make sure you change your furnace filters if you're running AC. I do mine every three months and that's how mine looks like after three months. I see some people don't change their furnace filters for over a year or more and it's just a big freaking mess. That's how uh, you have expensive repairs. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about, we gotta try to do something with the trailer window. We're gonna do a good check over because we got the uh, Outdoor Adventure Expo coming up pretty soon. It's a good five hour drive. So I gotta get everything ready. Let there be light. After the trailer's done, the JK is going to need a real good going over. Rotate the tires, including rotating the spare. I changed oil on this when I did the uh, seal again, but I didn't rotate the tires because honestly, I may have driven it like 3,000 kilometers in the last year. Uh oh. Sometimes after it sits for a bit, it's a little cranky. You notice that the tack isn't working? With the Novak emulator, if it doesn't uh, see the signal right away, it'll kick out. So that's why sometimes you may have an issue when you do an LS swap. But if you let the computer shut down, restart it, then the tack will work. I gotta peel that cover off, shove it in the bag. Yeah, this is the dolly I got from Princess Auto, a little hand dolly for moving my trailer around. Works quite well. I was kind of worried about the height. I'll have to figure out when to get it on, but uh, I'm sitting at about 17 and a half inches. I think once it's on the Cherokee with this receiver hitch that I picked up from Princess Auto and these things, nozzle stoppers, and I got the window silicone right there, all purpose, 100% waterproof, window and door protects. I think we'll be all right. Brought the trailer inside so I'm out of out of the elements and uh, easier to clean up the glass. That's the impact mark right there. A rock or something came up. <laughs> Holy crap says it's 44 degrees inside. So this is an emergency window, so I'll pull these handles, window will open up. I don't know what's gonna happen. If the window pops out or what? Or if it just folds open. Pop the window open. Got some shards of glass. You can see it's peeling. Something kind of satisfying feeling the safety glass part I come to the realization that cleaning up this window is not gonna be a quick job it's gonna take me a few hours at least Yeah, 
this is not gonna be fun trying to remove all that glass. It's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Just at the strip mall, getting some cat food, and we got Dickwad here at the F-150. Small pee, pee can't even park. If you can't park your vehicle, sell it. Buy yourself a car. You're useless. Fuck, I hate people like that. Completely useless. All right, good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is nine o'clock in the morning. It's already starting to get warm out. She's gonna be hot today in the 30s. Tomorrow gonna be 34. Not gonna be too pleasant working on the trailer. Gotta go run some errands right now. Gotta take my bag because I don't have no more plastic ones. So, gonna go run down Princess Auto, get some things. Might pick up an oscillator tool, something to help remove uh, the weather stripping from the window. We'll see. When I pull the JK in the garage, do some work, I like to uh, needle scale the sliders and see if I can get them in the QOR 15. Anyways, let's get inside. I finally found my bleed down gauge. It was uh, right beside the seat there because I have this one, which I'm actually removing. And the reason for that is that it has a digital gauge. And of course, we all know once it loses battery juice, then it's useless. The old 3.6 rattle. Let's go drop some money at Princess Auto. This is all my goodies I got. Got a new portable water container. 20 liters. Because my other one's got some issues. This is the weather stripping I'm going to use to separate the glass from the glass. Uh, I got these Power Fist 1 8 rivets, 50 of them. And this is the uh, sealant cutter that I'm hoping to be able to use on the glass. Picked up this um, half inch breaker bar and I needed 19 mil socket that I ordered off Amazon. Only because I want to put it in the Cherokee. I don't like the way like the factory jack is or the factory wrench. So I want like an actual breaker bar. Not that I'll ever use it, hopefully, but just in case I do, I'll have a real breaker bar and a real socket. And this universal push, push pull retainer because when you're working on a vehicle, you uh, always seem to damage these. And that's a pretty good buy. Like, go to the store, I can get like four little packages for the price I paid for this. I got one eight drill bits because you always end up breaking them. And this is a three piece set. I got the uh, trailer coupler, and I got this from Metal Supermarket, this chunk of metal, quarter inch thick. That we're gonna weld that on and then put that in there. So when I go camping with the Cherokee, because I don't need the off-road hitch. And this tool here, I got a smoking deal. Power fist. We're going to see how good this thing is. We're going to have a look at all that later. I'm going to come back out to the garage later this evening. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. And it is too freaking hot. It's like 30 degrees outside. And it's going to be sweating my bag off inside here. Evening, I'll come in for a few hours. I'll get up tomorrow morning, work another few hours. The afternoon is going to be even hotter. 34 degrees. And it's supposed to super cool off on Friday, my last day off. So I'm hoping I can get this trailer finished out the door before I go back to work. I did pick up a new USB connector. I have the, um, if you guys remember, I put one in down there, but... I actually got a USB-C and a regular USB connector that I'm going to put in. It's going to screw onto the wall with a switch that goes on off. That way, when I'm out camping, it's not on all the time using power that I don't need to be using. 
Hello, Miss Carmens. How are you doing? How are you keeping cool on these hot days? My no. My no. How are you doing? I know. You're so loved. You're so loved, Miss Carmens. You are. You're not choosing violence too much anymore. You're choosing compassion. My no. My no. It's nine o'clock at night and it's not cooling down at all. So I'm just gonna see if the oscillating tool is gonna work to bust that. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be in for a long, painful process. Good old power fist. Variable. So I did have that blade one out and I swapped it out to the scraper one because it works a million times better. I just gotta be careful that I can strip it without, because I already peeled off a pretty good strip there. And if I can continue, to do that and not break the window. But I can definitely peel it off way easier. Way easier. Well, that made quick work. Stripped it all down. A little rough where the adhesive is, but got her down. Power fist to the rescue. Now I can go ahead and start getting everything prepped. Got one eighth rivets because I don't have that much room in there. I'm not gonna be able to put any on the top. So hoping it sticks good as I got. This down here, and I do the top, I'll just have to put some tape or something. All right. Get some glass cleaner on there. Wipe this window down good. So I can put the weather stripping foam on. This is the stuff I got. Power fist from Princess Auto. 18 feet by 3 eighths by 3 sixteenths high. And it's going to go where the old foam was around the rubber and the silicone it's all built up there this is pretty crucial because this is what's going to set the window or the window gap so that the new plastic window isn't going to be touching on the glass which could cause it to vibrate and break let's cut that off there we go. I have some adhesive sealant coming in from Amazon. It's going to be delivered sometime today. So I'm going to get this all prepped up first. That's on. And that is one sheet. It is UV resistant tintable or tinted so it should match the glass so then this will come up and fit up in there just like that and i got it fit to the perfect size and once that special sealant comes hopefully the adhesive will hold it together that's what the game plan is So what I did is I masked out, because this is where the adhesive is going to go. So as you can see, the gap in here. I'm going to fill, I'm going to take this orbital sander. 
400 grit and just kind of rough it up. And that should hopefully, when the adhesive comes today, it'll give it a little bit more binding power. Oh, I swear I got COVID again. <laughs> down there I am I'm all set up packages out for delivery between 1 30 and 4 30 so a few hours hopefully I'll come in and get this window set and hopefully the adhesive holds up and we'll keep this window in place the last thing I want is to go down the road and have this window go flying out so this is what I got to replace that USB inside. That USB-C and regular USB. And I got a switch. Very easy to connect. We're gonna hook that up. That way when I'm out and about, it's not full-time powered, using less energy. And USB-C is gonna be a whole lot nicer for charging things like the drone batteries and everything else. So I got to mount it. I had to mount it upside down because the wires come out the top for whatever reason. I just turned off the light. Don't like that the switch has a full time light. That's kind of annoying. All right, the goods just showed up. This one I'm going to use on the window. Yeah, we're going to find out by tomorrow if this stuff's going to work. Not sure if we're going to use the whole tube or not, but uh, these bad boys right here are a lifesaver. Stuff's pretty thick, that's for sure. This is where a power gun would come in so much more handier. Also, just gonna throw a bead on the window itself. I just hope the stuff can stick. Oh. Let's see what can happen here. So I got to put on and I'll wait till tomorrow to peel off the protective tape and the duct tape holding it in place. I'm going to tell you right now that uh, <clears throat> once you attach it, she's stuck on there. There's no moving it. So we got her in there and we'll see what happens. I'm going to peel it off tomorrow. I don't think she's going to come free. I think she's on there for good. Then I'll take care of any issues. The only problem is that uh, it'll crack over time and uh, she'll get scratched and there's no way to buff it out. But it is what it is. I don't want glass because if it broke once, it's going to happen again. And uh, let's fingers crossed that <clears throat> this cures the issue. Man, I swear I got COVID. I can feel it. I can feel it.
Good day, everybody. I'm back outside in the garage. I'm on another set of days off. Actually, I'm on holidays right now. I don't go back to work for two weeks, getting everything ready for the Overland Expo that's coming up. And uh, feel a little bit better now that I'm getting over getting over the COVID. Last week at work has been extremely, extremely tiring, to say the least. Just felt exhausted. And usually on my first day off, since I work nights, sometimes I only sleep into like 2 o'clock. Today I just couldn't do it, just couldn't get out of bed till at least five, just exhausted, worn out. We've got to finish this trailer so I can get the Jeep in and start doing the maintenance on the Jeep before I head out on the trip. Just checking over the tire here. Rolls nice. Need to check the air pressure. Good. Good pull on that cap, put some more grease in there. About 30 PSI, that's what I like to run. What I love about this jack is that it works perfect for me for tight spots. So you just get in and out, especially with that modified valve I put on, I put a Schrader valve, so it actually fills up slower, so a little bit more controlled fill. Just over here at the mill, gonna get things set up. Gonna use a two flute end mill, do a plunge cut. I already did a quarter inch plunge cut right there, so. Get this set up and put stew. Now the thing with an end mill is an end mill can cut way faster than a drill bit. You got a sharp end mill, she'll just chew right through. Thing is, a drill bit will never give you a perfectly round hole. Got to pull the old Aesop Rebel out and then lay some beads down in here and on the top. Looking good, looking good. Got this backside welded too. Got a little lazy towards the end where I put the little tacks in from before. <clears throat> She's in there nice and solid. All right, motherfucking beer time, everybody. So most of the trailer project is finished now. Getting it all ready to go to the Overland Expo. And uh, I think I might hook it up to my car tomorrow. See how well it tows. I'm hoping to have enough time to get everything I need to do on the JK finished. So I can get out for one quick trip before I head on the big one to the Expo. But anyways, motherfucking beer time. I'm going to have a fire. And I'm going to kick back and relax. I think I welded enough galvanized steel to maybe poison myself. Who knows? Oh, it's been a few weeks, but it sure feels nice to finally have a fire, kick back, relax. Gonna get some podcasts happening. 